so do you think that there's ever going to be a time where, like, I'm not scared to take my work to, like, a juried art show? I don't think so, no. I think it's always going to be a little scary. It's so weird. So weird. Hola, you amazing artist. So today I took my stuff into a jury dart show. So these will be the pieces that I bring in. The Nature of Passion, which is this one here. And Leaving the Landscape of Chaos in Harmony. And I know that a lot of you have contacted me about approaching galleries. I think this is the easiest way to approach a gallery if you are afraid of approaching galleries. The kind of galleries that I'm talking about are the ones that are more like community galleries that do like juried art competitions and uh, art shows and different things like that. Those would be like group shows. And the ever popular pop-up. Yeah, the, the pop-up gallery shows and things like that. They're really cool. Usually it's a gathering of artists, a bunch of artists, and you could pay to become a member. This is the first time that I've entered pieces into this particular gallery, but there's another gallery in town called Artel Gallery where you could become a member as well, and they do monthly shows that you could submit your pieces in and they have a theme. I've had the pleasure of being rejected by that gallery, and I'm going to try again soon. I know that a lot of you might be afraid of entering pieces into a juried art exhibition because you're afraid of getting rejected, and if there's anything I can tell you, you will be rejected. I've been rejected so many times over the last few years the same galleries where maybe I got rejected two months in a row that month I won best of show so you never know that rhymes and it just goes to show oh god <laughs> and you're probably wondering well how do I find these a good way to find them is go to your local galleries and walk in and talk to somebody and ask them if they do any kind of juried art shows and if they're like no. Then be like, okay, thank you. Yeah, if they're the kind of gallery that's like, I'm sorry, who are you? Are you here with the catering service? Yeah, yeah. Then then that's probably not the kind of place where you're going to get one of those kind of group shows. Usually with these galleries, they'll have a jury fee of like anywhere between $25 to $30. Depending on if you're a member. If you're a member, it's cheaper. If you're not a member, then it's a little bit more expensive. But $30 is usually the max. I always steer clear and I'm very weary of of any galleries that have a large jury fee. Like I know that I've seen some vanity galleries that have like $150 jury fee, but it's actually a showing fee. I stay away from those because those are the kind of galleries that it's pay to play. So essentially it doesn't matter what the quality of the artwork is. You give them 150 bucks and you can show your work at this next show. That's, that's, I don't, I don't dig that. Not only is it way expensive, but the gallery has no incentive to actually bring people in to try and sell your work. You deal with those situations on a case-by-case -case basis. I don't know what your situation is. I don't know what kind of galleries you have in your town. So I'm just, this is my personal point of view. If it's 25 to $30, I'm good with it. If it gets way more expensive or it's pay to play, uh, I stay away from those kind of galleries. Yeah, not to be confused with national jury shows, which can easily be $150. If you're dealing with like a national jury show that is extremely famous and has been doing this jury show for the last 40 years, and they bring in 100,000 people, then yeah, you're going to pay a little bit more to get juried in. The way that it works is that they'll bring in jurors and they have to pay these jurors to actually jury the artwork. So that's where the money comes in. Usually at big shows like that, they have big time artists or big time art professionals that come in that expect to get paid to be able to jury that work. Yeah, they make good money to be like, not you, not you, uh, yo, yes, bring this one. <laughs> I'm sure they're not really like that. No, no. I mean, they're maybe, maybe they are. That's how I'm gonna be if I ever jury a show. Wait, I we ju I juried a show. I wasn't like that. Oh, I totally missed my opportunity. It's okay. You'll have more. Yeah. Here in town, we have First City Art Center. We have Artel Gallery, Keyside is a co-op gallery, but they also do a juried art show. There will always be some kind of opportunity. If you don't find an opportunity in your town because you live in a small town, I know that a lot of you guys live in like little villages. If you don't have a gallery like that where they do juried group shows, then look at the surrounding areas and I'm sure that you'll find something. Outside of your tiny village. Outside of your tiny village. Take the path that leads out of town past Old Man Barnisher's farm. 
and hang a left at the oh only sign. Oh my god. There are a lot of artists out there that will say like, I don't do juried art shows. I think that juried art shows could be a lot of fun. The only thing is you can't take it seriously, especially if your artwork doesn't make it into the show. I think that that's the biggest fear that a lot of artists have is going and applying for a show and then not getting in because then they think that their artwork sucks or that they suck or you know that the people don't like them but in actuality what you're dealing with is the opportunity to be able to face rejection head-on which is a big deal it is it is important to be able to be comfortable with rejection if you are going to be an artist yeah treat it like a game yeah treat it like a game treat it like a game it's supposed to be fun you are creating pictures and somebody is going to say well this is good enough to get in or this is not good enough to get in it all has to do with the perspective of the juror you never know like that juror may just like cow paintings cow paint i have no idea why i just said cow paintings cow paintings Look, rejection is never the desirable outcome, but it is sort of unavoidable if you're going to grow your business and grow yourself. Being comfortable with rejection is paramount to being successful in any career. Another reason I enjoy them is because they get me out of the studio. All juried art shows, they usually have a reception day, and that's the day where they'll bring in wine and they do all the all the fun stuff and bring in people and people come in and you get to show up and be like this is my piece of artwork and talk to people that's so cool to me it's the opportunity to not only get out of the studio even though i'll fight it yeah you'll be like i don't need to go to this reception i'm far too busy yeah yeah, I will fight it because my inclination is to just stay in. I mean, it's cool because you get to interact with the public, you get to interact with local artists, other artists that are in the show, you get to meet people that are doing what you do, and that's important. That It's, it's important to have that sense of community, to get to know other artists that are out there putting themselves out there. And that's not just reserved for the peeps that get in. You could go to the reception even if your art gets rejected. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Go to the reception and just just have a good time and hang out with other artists. Don't sit at home and be like, I was rejected. I hate them. I hate them. Another benefit of doing these shows and getting in is that you get to add that to your resume. There's something about a resume that a lot of people out there like to look at. They like to know that you've done shows, that you've been out there. Do I believe that it's important? Not really. I think that the quality of your work will speak for itself, but I know that a lot of people like to look at the history and the resume of what you've done before. So if you do apply for a jury dart show, I think at that point right there where you went through with it that's when you congratulate yourself it means that you've taken a step beyond what a lot of artists are capable of doing there are a lot of people out there that really want to be an artist that never take that step at facing rejection it's true the last time i got rejected from a show i was like oh hooray i'm brave <laughs> when you were planning to applying to a show there are two things that I usually look at. A, do they have a theme? And does that theme fit in with what I do, the kind of artwork that I do? Because if it doesn't fit, then I'm not going to apply to that show. And the second thing is I take a look and see who the juror is, and then I will stalk them online and see if I could find out what their aesthetic is for what kind of artwork they like, what kind of artwork they create. Yeah, ain't no shame in stalking the juror to learn more. Yeah, exactly. And that doesn't mean that you need to make something that looks like what they like. That's right. Always stay true to yourself. That's 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 paramount. That is important. Stay true to who you are. It's not about winning the competition. This piece I created by dipping my face into a mold medium and holding my breath for at least a minute as you could probably tell from the expression on my face. But the ability to get through that struggle and reach it till the end. Because this piece symbolizes the harmony and chaos, I want to put this right in the center. And what I'm going to do is cut the canvas and have this face coming out. It's symbolizing what I'm hoping to do, which is hopefully break free from the chaos of what's going on and just be able to hold my breath and get through it. Some people might see it as a macabre piece. It's not really, it's a piece of breaking free. You never know what jury dart shows. Uh, whoever the judge is might be like, hmm, I don't, I don't like it. But, you know, it is what it is. You create the artwork 
because you want to create the artwork, not because you want to win a competition. It is about applying, about taking that step forward and about putting yourself out there and creating something that only you can create. And above all else, remember to have fun. A lot of people take that juried art competition thing so seriously. If you create something and it doesn't get into the show, don't get discouraged. Just look for a show that fits in more with the theme that you, the kind of stuff that you like to create. Yeah, it's the art world. It's supposed to be crazy and eccentric and full of surprises and I don't think it's that serious. Yeah, it's not that serious. We're just a bunch of kids expressing ourselves with our hands in whichever way it is that we express ourselves. And that's it, you guys. And if you have any more suggestions for entering a juried art show or if you are planning on entering a juried art show and are scared about it, just go ahead and leave your comments in the comment section below. We would love to hear about it. Oh, I wanted to make an announcement, you guys we have a vlog channel that we just started so a lot of the clips that you see in this video of getting the artwork ready and going and applying for the show um, we actually have a full vlog on that as well on the channel and you can find that channel by following the link in the description below the adventures of Rafi and Klee the adventures of Rafi and Klee Klee even made a cool jingo intro for it FYI you guys on Wednesday we're going to be doing the live stream this week so keep an eye out for that oh and one more thing Tuesday May 21st is talk like Yoda day that's that's it that's all I wanted to say talk like Yoda day it is and thank you so much for watching, you guys. You guys are absolutely freaking awesome. I totally adore you. And if you like this and you want to watch more like this, just click right over here to subscribe. And that's it. Say goodbye, Klee. Good day. Adios.